بسم الله والحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا Okay, can you give me some, uh, you was here last week, right? Can you give me a summarize from what you wrote? From Muhammad, from the meaning of Muhammad or Rasulullah. Imitate the prophet, and he was given revelations, and you should obey him and adhere to what he called to, and his students and his actions. Mm-hmm. And you should understand Islam like his companions. Mm-hmm. And you should also take your information from authentic sources. Mashallah. And you shouldn't follow people that aren't the prophet. Mm. And you need guidance since you can't guide yourself. Mm-hmm. But if you go astray, you'll go to hell. Mm. And you don't follow any of the other prophets' teachings exactly, except for the Prophet Muhammad. Even though we, we believe in all of them, we believe in all of the prophets and the messengers, but the last and final message that we follow is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, Alhamdulillah, good. Uh, you have? Oh, give it on. Okay, the meaning of Muhammad Rasulullah is the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The one who conveys a message from Allah. Muhammad is the last prophet, messenger, and to follow from Allah. There's no evidence to worship someone else. In Surah Al-Alaq, it states to read to your Lord, and in Surah Qalam, it's talking about the pen and how it was created. In Surah Nisa, Ayah 43, on that day, those who were bent on denying the truth and disobeying the messenger who wished that the earth be made. In Surah Nisa, Ayah 65, all messengers who sent were meant to be obeyed by Allah. Mm-hmm. MashaAllah. In Surah 7, Ayah 30, follow what has been sent down to you by your Lord and do not follow any uh, protector other than Him. MashaAllah. And that's it. Alhamdulillah. Yes. You want a short summary, right? Huh? You want a summary, right? That's true. Yeah, summary. Okay. Did you, so, did you write notes? That's the point of you to take. That's the point of the class. I was doing my. Okay, work. give me, give me what you know. So we basically believe in all the prophets, uh, the prophets and their messages, but we believe in like Muhammad more because he was the last prophet. Or he's our prophet. Mm. That's it. You gotta start taking notes, man. I was doing the homework. Huh? I was doing the, the other teachers. But I'm talking about since I've been doing this class. I just did, I, I did this class last week, and you haven't taken any any notes. Subhanallah. That's that's on you though. Okay. Huh? He don't know. He don't know how to. You know, he's not good at he can speak, uh, at uh, talking yet. What we got? I have my notes. Like the meaning of Muhammad Rasulullah, uh-huh. that no one has the right to be followed except from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Linguistically, the messenger of Allah is the one who was sent with a message. Mm-hmm. Religiously, he carries a message from his Lord, mm-hmm. and the Prophet was given revelations from Allah, but he mm-hmm. is the last messenger, and one that we are to follow. Mm-hmm. And the other messages, they're not relevant to us. Now, we should not follow um, any of anybody else's statements unless they are backed up with evidence from the Prophet. From the Quran and the Quran. Quran and the, and, mashallah. And that Quran 4 book is just so ask the people of knowledge that you don't know. Mm. And we should follow and elevate the, and emulate the Prophet. 
and uh, people who disobey will, will have gone astray. MashaAllah. Love it. Nothing from last week, huh? I could, uh, I could tell you what you mean. I don't have any notes. Can you ask the question of action? Or you want me to tell you? Uh, the meaning of Muhammad or Rasulullah. Uh, Summarize it. Give me what you what, what we spoke about. So, so you remember. It is basically to, uh, to follow him, to believe in him, and that he's the last prophet. Mm. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Yes, here we go, the final one. Oh uh, yeah, so basically, summarization mm -hmm. of last week's lesson was talking about how no human has the right to be followed mm -hmm. except the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Allah has provided us with him to, and he's, he showed us the way to be closer to Allah and the right way to live life, which was told to him by Allah. MashaAllah. And then we shouldn't follow uh, uh, Dalala, which is falsehood, mm -hmm. and then we should adhere adhere to what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is was calling to, mm -hmm. so we can build the connection with Allah, and we should also build the connection with the actions and followings of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. MashaAllah. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Allahu Akbar. Shukran. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Guys, this this these class this class is 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 uh, designed for us to learn, right? It's designed for us to take down notes. It's designed for us to actually learn something, to learn our religion, to learn the things that is important for us to learn. Because if we're not learning anything, then what are we here for? What are we here for if we're not learning anything? If we're not writing information down for us to benefit and to learn and to actually imply, apply in our lives. This is what we are, this is what the class is designed to do. It is designed to what? For us to learn. Yeah, I need to write information down, to write down information so that you can implement it, so that you can memorize it. Memorization. Don't just say, "Oh, you know, I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm not sure." So we're going to mention uh, the next point. In following the message of Allah. Alayhi salatu wa salam It is Al-Itiba'a Al-Itiba'a I-T-T-I-B-A I-T-T-I-B-A Following the messenger of Allah As Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah A famous scholar by Ibn Taymiyyah he mentions, may Allah have mercy upon him. He said, as a man increases in ittiba'ah, as a person, he increases in following the messenger of Allah and implement in, in yes, Ibn Taymiyyah, Ibn Taymiyyah, I-B-N-T-A-Y-M-I-Y-Y-A-H. A famous scholar by the name of Ibn Taymiyyah. He mentions Rahimahullah. He says, as a man increases in it in his ittiba'ah, as a man increases in his emulation of the Messenger of Allah, in his following the Messenger of Allah. In his following of the Messenger of Allah of Allah, he becomes more complete in his tawheed. 
he becomes more complete, meaning he knows, right? He knows his Tawheed. He knows the affair of the oneness of Allah, of the, of the, worship, of, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. The more that the person emulates and follows the messenger of Allah, the more that his Tawheed becomes complete. So this beautiful name of Ittiba'ah, Al-Ism, this name Al-Ittiba'ah, this name emulating, following, right? Following, emulating, or like they, like they say, mimicking. Mimicking someone, following someone, being like someone, right? This definition a following of the messenger of Allah is from the, the requisites of believing in him. Following him, following the messenger of Allah is from the prerequisites of believing in him. And itiba' al-rasul, following the messenger of Allah is from the, re, pre, is from the, re, the prerequisites of believing in him. The meaning of, yes. Prerequisites is from the, maybe let's say it's from the affair. From the affair of believing in him. From the affair of follow, from the, from the prerequisites of mimicking him or following him. It also brings about the person believing in him. Prere prerequisites? Uh, it's P. Uh, re requisites, I said prerequisites. Re uh, it is... Um, requisites is R-E-Q. R U-I-S-I-T-E-S. Requisites. It's from the requisites of believing in him. From the requisites of believing in him. Right? When you follow someone, a following someone, following the messenger of Allah, knowing his sunnah, following his sunnah, knowing his lineage. Knowing about the messenger of Allah It brings about the person Having what? Love for him It brings about the person having Love And his word mahabba Love, having love for him Because you know him You know the messenger of Allah You know about his manners You know about his etiquettes You know about that which he called to He called to worship in Allah He called to tawheed he called to believing in Allah. He called to, he called away from shirk. Right? He called away from shirk. He called away from bid'ah, innovation. He called away from all of those things that is detrimental, that is wrong for the person. He called away from that and called the person to worship in Allah, to love in Allah, to get in close to Allah. When you know the Prophet Sallallahu was telling you it brings about it brings about what? Love. It brings about you having love for the Prophet Wasallam. So again, so this definition of emulating of ittiba'ah, this definition of ittiba'ah, emulation or copying or mimicking, right? You follow, it brings about following of the messenger of Allah. It brings about the following of him. So much so you, you're at, you, like, like Fatima, his daughter. She did everything just like him. His daughter followed everything he, he did. The companions wanted to do everything just like the way he did it. The companions, they, they wanted to be just like his, the messenger of Allah. They followed exactly. They, even if they didn't reach... If they didn't reach to the, the, the complete following, they followed them to, the, to their best, to the best of their ability. 
You understand? So this word and itiba'a meaning to follow, to emulate. Right? To follow, to emulate. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Is that Muhammad was sent by Allah to all of mankind. Muhammad was sent from Allah to all of mankind. He wasn't just sent to Arabs, to just the Arabs. No. Everyone received this message. Everyone received this message. And that believing in him is obligatory. You can't practice Islam without believing in the Prophet ﷺ. How is your practice going to be? How would you worship Allah? Right? How would you pray? How would you pray to Allah without following the guidance of the Prophet ﷺ? How? I'm just a question. How would you how would you follow? How would you practice your Islam? You wouldn't be able to. Sah? You wouldn't be able to follow. You wouldn't be able to practice Islam without the guidance of the Prophet. So it is obligatory upon an individual in order for his Islam to be complete. He has to what? Itiba'a. He has to follow. He has to follow the message of Allah. Follow the blueprint. What's the blueprint? What he did is already mapped out. It's already laid down. It's mapped out already. All you have to do is what? Follow it. That's all you got to do. The blueprint is already mapped out. So then it is mentioned. There's Ibn Kathir rahimahullah. Another scholar. The scholar, a scholar of tafsir. He is a scholar of tafsir by the name of Ibn Kathir. You see the books on it. So maybe you see a book. It's called Ibn Kathir. That is a tafsir. You have that at home. Right? It's famous. It's well known. By the name of Ibn Kathir. He's a scholar of tafsir. He explains the tafsir. The tafsir of the ayat. The tafsir of the ayat of the, 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 of the Quran. The tafsir of the Quran. He explains so, a scholar by the name of Ibn Kathir, I B N K A T H I R. Ibn Kathir, Rahimahullah. He said, Follow the narrations of the Prophet. The one who came with the book revealed to you from your Lord. And do not deviate from that which the messenger of Allah came with. Do not deviate from that which the messenger of Allah came with. Ibn Kathir rahimahullah, I'm going to mention it again. He said, follow the narrations of the Prophet sallallahu Follow that which has been narrated. Follow that which has been already narrated from the Prophet sallallahu As you find... Statements from his companions, they will say, as Aisha radiallahu anha, her, her, her husband, uh, the mother of the believers, she will say, the Prophet sallallahu said this. She narrated that the Prophet sallallahu said this. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, another companion, he will say, the Prophet sallallahu said this. Another companion would narrate it and would narrate and say, Ibn Abbas would say that the Prophet وسلم, said that. Now that we are following that chain, following the narrations of the Prophet. وسلم, the Prophet said this. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu narrated that the Prophet وسلم, said that. Aisha radiallahu anha narrated that the Prophet وسلم, said this. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu narrated said that the Prophet وسلم, said that. We are following that narration, following that trend, right? We are following that. So Ibn Kathir, rahimahullah, he said, 
follow narrations of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the one who came with the book revealed from your Lord, and do not de deviate from that which the message of Allah came with. How can a person deviate from that which Allah came with? By going astray. By going astray, by deviating and going to different directions, other paths. Choosing another direction other than the correct direction. As, the, as it is mentioned in the Quran where Allah says, whoever chooses a path, right? Whoever chooses a path other than the way of the believers, then Allah will leave him in that path he has chosen for himself. You have leave, leave, other than the way of the believers, who are the believers? Huh? The Muslims, the companions. He chooses a way of, of, of a, another way of another path other than the way of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Other than the way of the believers. The companions, they, were, they witnessed revelation. They was there, they was around the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when revelation was coming. So who are we today to just make up something and say, oh, I'm not going to follow, I'm going to just do my own thing and inshallah Allah will bless me. And No. You have to follow, you have to follow the chain. It's already laid down for you. You don't have to invent something. You don't have to invent anything in the religion. Any person who invents something in the religion, he will go astray. And it will not be accepted from him. And he will go astray. Look, the person who invents something, he makes up something in the religion, he will go astray. Dolala. Right? Number one. And he will go astray. He will be misguided. He will be misguided. He will go astray, misguided. And in the hereafter, he will be from amongst the losers. And in the hereafter, he will be, he will be from amongst the who? The losers. You choose a path other than the way of the believers, other than the way of the companions, other than the way of the messenger of Allah. You want to follow, you want to do your own thing except, except for following revelation. Except for what? Following revelation. You don't have to come up with your own way. Your own way is, 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 is dolala, is, is, is astray. Your own way, our own way is misguided, is, is deviancy. If we want to do our own thing, it, it, won't, it won't count in front of Allah. It will be disregarded. Haba'an mansura. It would be discarded like dust. We have to follow what Allah says. Al ittiba'a. Al ittiba'a. We have to follow what Allah says. As Allah mentions in the Quran, follow that which has been revealed from your Lord. Right? Follow what Allah has said. As I mentioned in the Qutbah Friday, follow the commandments of Allah. Follow what Allah has said. Follow what? What else? What the messenger of Allah said. That's what Allah said. What his messenger said. And with the understanding of who? The understanding of the companions of the messenger of Allah. With their understanding of the religion. Not what fulan and fulan understanding. Not how someone else understanding may be. Not what a Christian's understanding, not what a Jew understand, not what any other pe pe not what their understanding. Well, the understanding of how the companions of the message of Allah understood the deen. This is how we take our religion. First, it is what Allah says, the book of Allah, right? The speech of Allah, the sunnah of the messenger of Allah. His sunnah, his way, his guidance, his itiba' al rasul, following the message of Allah with the understanding of how the companions understood it. That's how we will be saved. This is salvation. This is the salvation. You understand? You understand? So Ibn Qatir, rahimahullah. He mentions the one who came with the book revealed to your Lord, revealed to you from your Lord, and do not deviate from that which the message of Allah came with, following other than it, for indeed you will, you will have abandoned Allah's judgment. And when we want to make a judgment, we judge by what Allah has made, what Allah has judged by. 
We judge by the book of Allah. Allah said it. Okay, if we differ, if we differ, if we have some type of disagreement, okay, let's go to the book of Allah and see what it said. See what Allah says about that. Let's go to the Sunnah of the Message of Allah and see what the Message, of, see what the Sunnah says about that. Let's go to the understanding of the companions and see how they understood it. You understand? So it is mentioned. For indeed you will have you will have abandoned the judgment and instead taken other than that. And this is for the, the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, Surah Surah 7, Ayah 3. This is for this for the for what I just explained. Surah 7, Ayah 3. You can go to Tafsir of Ibn Kathir. You can go to the Tafsir of um, Ibn Kathir and look at look up that ayat. 7, 7 Ayah 7. Uh, Surah 7, Ayah 3. And it's going to tell you what I just explained to you. You understand? Then it is mentioned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Quran. فَلَا رَوَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ حَتَّى يُحَكِمُوكَ فِي مَا شَجْرَ بَيْنَهُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُوا فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَرَجًا مِمَّا قَضَيْتَ وَيُسَلِّمُوا وَيُسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا وَيُسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا Allah says, and, and no, by your Lord. Allah says, in Surah An-Nisa, Surah 4, Ayah 65, Surah 4, I at 65, Allah, he says, and know by your Lord, they can have no faith until they make you a judge in all disputes. So before I at 65, they can have no faith, meaning they can have no iman until they make you a judge in all disputes, meaning the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi We go, that's the source. We take it back to the, to the book of Allah and the son of the messenger of Allah. And know by your Lord, they can have no faith until they make you, O Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a judge in all disputes. Yes. Which ayah? Surah 4, ayah 65. And know by your Lord, they can have no faith until they make you, O Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a judge in all disputes between them, and they find in themselves no resistance against your decision and they accept them with full submission we comply with the book of Allah we comply with the, the commandments of Allah and his sunnah they can have no full faith no full they don't have any faith except that they, re, they return it back to those two sources the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah and they submit to it with full with a full with salimu taslima and if they, they complete, they, 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 they comply with it. They comply with them and they accept it with full submission. Then Allah, he says in Surah to, I forget that. And then Allah says, it is not for a believing man. وَمَا كَانَ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذَا قَضَى اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ عَمْرًا أَنْ يَكُونُ لَهُمْ خِرَّتُهُ وَخِرَّتُ مِنْ أَمْرِهِمْ إِلَى الْأَخْرِ الْآيَةِ Allah says in Surah Al-Ahzab I think that's Surah al Surah 28 if I'm not mistaken Ahzab but just put Surah al put Surah as the, I'm not sure of the uh, the name. I mean, I'm not sure of the the number. I'm not sure of the number. But put Surah Ahzab. Mean uh, is is a uh, Ahzab is spelled A L A H Z A B. I at thirty six. A L. A H Z A B ayah thirty six, where Allah says it is not for a believing man. Ahzab. It is not for a believing man, or a believing woman, when Allah and His Messenger has decreed a matter that they, that, that that they should have any option in their decision, and whoever disobey Allah and His Messenger has indeed strayed into a plain error. 
it, it, it is not for you to say, oh, the way I think or the way I feel, right? It is not for you to say, oh, I, it, the way I feel, I feel like doing it like this. Or I feel like practicing the Islam like this. Or the way I feel, you know, you come up with your own logic, right? Your logic, your, your way of thinking can lead you astray. Yes. Huh? Yes, if I'm not mistaken. But like I said, it don't don't um quote me. It, don't quote me on a 28. Just put sort of the azab. I at 36. I forget the the actual number of the the surah. So put sort of the azab. I at 36. You understand? So you don't don't in Islam we don't say oh the way I feel or how I think or it should be like this. No, Allah says. Allah says. It is not for a believing man or a believing woman when Allah and His Messenger have decreed a matter that they should have any option in their decision. And whoever disobeys Allah and His Messenger has indeed strayed into a plain error. Whoever disobeys Allah and His Messenger, meaning you go against what Allah said, you go against what the Messenger of Allah said, then you have strayed into a, a plain error. You understand? Got it? You understand? Ibn Kathir Rahimahallah, he says, Ibn Kathir Rahimahallah, he says, May Allah have mercy upon him that Allah swears by his noble self. Allah swears by his self. Allah swears in the Quran. Allah says that no one truly believes. And so they make the messenger a judge in all of their affairs. And then so they believe that Allah's message of judgment is the truth to which submission is obligatory openly and inwardly. As Ibn Qatir rahimahullah, he said it. And say it again. Ibn Qatir, he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Allah swears by his noble self that no one truly believes until they make his messenger a judge. No one truly believes until they make the messenger a judge in all of their affairs. Until they believe that Allah's judgment is the truth. Until they believe that Allah, that, uh, until they believe that the messenger's judgment is the truth, F1. So they believe that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam judgment is the truth. To which submission is obligatory. And to, and to submit to that it is obligatory. Openly and secretly. To openly submit to it. To openly submit to it. It is obligatory upon a Muslim to do that. It is obligatory upon a Muslim to... Submit to the submit to the judgment of Allah. Submit to the judgment of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And also and obey his commands. Naam. And it also as it comes, as we mentioned in reference to the Surah Surah to Azad, remember when I said I, I forgot the um the, the ayat? As we mentioned as another scholar by the name of by the name of Sa'di Sa'di a scholar named by the name of Sa'di now a scholar by the name of Sa'di he said about that ayah what we mentioned sort of to Ahzab remember he said may Allah have mercy upon him rahimahullah Imam Sa'di he said the meaning it is neither suitable nor appropriate for the one who was described as a, as being a believer to do anything but hasten to Allah's rewards. But hasten to the reward of Allah and to the pleasure of his messenger. Meaning to obey Allah, to obey the commandments of Allah. Rushing and obeying the, the commandments of Allah. And rushing and obeying the commandments of the messenger of Allah. And it is not suitable to do anything but to flee from Allah's anger. How can a person flee from Allah's anger? 
Huh? Yes. Not doing what Allah tell. Not doing what Allah. Like staying away from the commandments, the, the prohibitions of Allah. Nah. Staying, staying away from his prohibitions. Like what? What are some of the prohibitions of Allah? Uh, shirk. shirk. What else? Zina. Zina. Pork. Pork. Uh, alcohol. alcohol. Drugs. Drugs. Kathir muharramat. All of the, all of, a lot of, all of these prohibitions. That Allah has instructed us and commanded us to stay away from. This is what? This is something that is what? Obligatory. This is something that is what? Obligatory. What is obligatory? Mandatory. Mandatory. Obligatory. For us to obey, the, to stay away from the commandments, stay away from the prohibitions of Allah, and to obey the commandments of Allah, and to flee from His anger. To flee from the anger of Allah. To, to flee from the anger of Allah, his prohibitions, to stay away from them. And, to st- and the displeasure of his messenger, of a, the displeasure of his messenger. To obey the commandments in the, 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 of the messenger of Allah as well. He is to be obeyed. The messenger of Allah is to what? Be obeyed and to be what? Followed. As we mentioned that word, al ittiba'ah. That word of what? Ittiba'ah. Is to what? To follow. To, to emulate. Right? To emulate. To follow. To follow. To follow. You understand? So this is, in a nutshell... And this is in a nutshell Muhammad al-Rasulullah Muhammad al-Rasulullah Ma'ana Al-Itiba'ah Ma'ana al-Itiba'ah Meaning We follow the messenger of Allah Muhammad al-Rasulullah He is the one that we follow the, the one that we believe in The one who we emulate We love the most Out of all of mankind Out of all of mankind We love the messenger of Allah More than anyone else and we follow, we obey the commandment, we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We love Allah first and foremost more than anyone else. So if someone was to, was to tell you to do something haram, would you obey them? No. It goes against what? It goes against the commandment of Allah. And it goes against the commandment of the messenger of Allah. If someone tells you to come and take this, come and do this, come and do this, come and take this, come and say this, you say what? No, I, I, I cannot do that. Why? Why you don't do it? It's against my religion. Because Allah told me not to do it. Allah has commanded me not to do it. Allah has instructed me not to do it. It goes against the messenger of Allah. It goes against following him. Right? It goes against following the messenger of Allah. The me- the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Quran... Right? He told us to follow him. He said, he said to follow him and his messenger. <laughs> obey Allah and obey the messenger of Allah. Say, Ati Allah. Ati Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the messenger of Allah. Ati Allah wa Ati Rasul. We got 10 minutes, inshallah. 10 minutes. So what was the summary of this class? What did we get from this class? Because when we are learning, when we are, when we are, when we are learning these, uh, this information that we are learning, we have to make sure that we write information down. This is knowledge. This is ilm. Al ilm al haya. Al ilm madha al haya. Haya to al qulub. Al ilm knowledge is the life of the heart. Knowledge is what? Life of the heart. It brings light and life of the heart. It it gives the person vision. You are able to see, right? When you have knowledge of the deen of Allah, when you have knowledge of Allah subhanahu, it gives the person vision, light. He is able to see. It gives his heart life. 
العلم الحياة العلم حياة It gives the, the, the person knowledge gives his knowledge life life in the heart you are able to see with your heart as well you are able to see the right and the wrong when you are practicing the religion the correct way when you are following the message of Allah the correct way Allah gives you a different uh, he gives you nur this, this light <coughs> that Allah gives you he gives you basira al basira he gives you a vision, a way of thinking and a way of seeing things the correct way, the way it's supposed to be seen, right? The correct way, the way of Islam. Al Islam, al Islam, al Itiba'a. Islam is submission, a submission to the will of Allah. And it is to follow the message of Allah. And if you follow in someone outside of that, someone other than the message of Allah, this is the, the person. Is, uh, is prone to go astray. What is astray? Loss. Dolala. Strayness. Destruction. Right? You are, you are leading yourself to destruction. Right? You're not following what Allah says. You're not following what the messenger of Allah says. So who are you following? Who are you following? This is why in Islam also that we be careful who we befriend. Be, be careful who you who you what? Befriend to be careful who you take as a friend. Also, you know, be make sure that when you take a person as a friend, make sure that that is a Muslim. He is a Muslim. He is a practicing Muslim. He is a believing Muslim. He believes in Allah. Make sure that that Muslim he prays. Make sure that Muslim has that the same same belief as you do. The same belief as you believe. The way you believe. Make sure you take him as a, if you take that friend of yours as a companion, you make sure that that person is a good companion, good companionship. That that, that that friend, he doesn't lie. That that friend of yours, he doesn't cheat. That that friend of yours, he doesn't, you know, do any of these things. He doesn't curse, use profanity. He doesn't uh, do things that, the, that Islam teaches us not to do. Islam teaches us not to do those things. So we want to have friends that doesn't do those things. You understand? So what is ittiba? Ittiba. Following. Following who? The messenger. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Right? Emulating him and his manners. Copying him. We, how we know? How will we know about the messenger of Allah? By what? Reading about him. His biography, right? We read about his biography. We see, you know, the beautiful, uh, the beautiful etiquette and his mannerisms and what was said about him even before, even before Islam. Even before Islam, the people know him to be what? I mean, to be, they, they know, he's known to be what? Truthful and honest. So if he's known to be truthful and honest, it is upon us to be what? Truthful and honest. Right. It is upon us to be truthful and honest. He was known for that even before before revelation. He was not known to be a what? A liar. So it is upon us not to be a what? A liar. Because he wasn't known for that. So if we are claiming... If we're claiming to follow the messenger of Allah, we cannot what? Lie. We cannot lie. We cannot lie. You understand? You understand? Any questions? Any questions? Questions, comments? Shukran. Shukran jazeel.